Hi, I'm Brooke Tatro. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the one rain step. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. I can't say enough about the one rain stop and how important it is and beneficial it is for everything that you're gonna do later on in your riding. And you can start it right from the first ride in the rope halter. This video won't be long enough to name everything um, that it is gonna help you with, but let's just start with some real basics. Um, you've probably all heard the saying that you can't help a troubled horse with two reins. And I believe that to be very true. So one thing that the one rein stop is gonna do, it's gonna help you with your young horses or a horse that's having trouble so that you have an option of bending them and rolling the hind and giving their feet something constructive to do instead of just pulling on two reins. The other most basic things it's gonna help you with is suppleness in your horse, lateral flexion, connecting the hind legs to your leg in your inside rein, and helping the horse understand how to maneuver different parts of their body independently of the other parts. So here's a quick rundown of how to perform a basic one rein stop. You also notice in this video that I'm working on other basic things at the same time, like making sure my horse bends its head both ways with its feet stopped and it's soft, backing, reaching the front foot, a few other things. But basically, if I'm walking to the right and I want to do a one rein stop to the right, once my horse's nose is tipped just a little to the inside, my inside leg is going to slip back. I'm going to slide down my inside rein until the hindquarters roll and their feet get stopped and they're soft on the rein. Once all of those things happen, then I'll release. Then after, I'm just checking, making sure he bends softly both ways, give him a little rub, off we go, we'll do it again. Your inside leg, when it slips back, it can bump very lightly. I always think about just gently bumping the air in between my leg and my horse's side. I want it to be that soft. And then it's up to me how many steps I want the hind to roll. I'm looking for that inside hind leg to step up and underneath of him in front of the outside hind leg. And then I try to mix it up. Sometimes I just do a step or two. Sometimes I'll ask him to roll it a little further. Um, I'll, I'll kind of change it from time to time and, and make sure that he's paying attention and with me. But again, I'll slide down that inside rein, roll the hind. Once he's stopped and he's soft on the rein, I'll release everything. I do this at the beginning of each ride and at the end of each ride. And this horse is pretty good, but I still check it out when I get on and make sure it's working correctly. Because if he can't even perform a good one rein stop, then... The rest of my ride probably isn't going to be that great anyway. And then I always like to do some simple things at the walk at the end of my ride to make sure that we end on a good note and that we're nice and quiet. So I might just go back to something real basic like this and, and know that that's a good place to end the ride. One last little note about this is when I perform my one rein stop and I slide down my inside rein and bend my horse around laterally, I make sure that my hand comes right kind of near the horn and I want it to come to the exact same spot every time. I hope this helps all of you. Thanks so much.